Trader, trade, trader, Cobb Crypto Podcast. Podcast. This is the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. G'day and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Guys, we know that there has not been too much movement overnight, so uh, a little bit of a consolidation period there again. We talked of yesterday, if we went above 9,000, we'll be looking to push on higher. We haven't broken above that high, or held above that high. I'm uh, not looking exactly at my charts right now. I do have the market information, but I haven't seen the charts in the sort of detail that I would normally like to have seen before coming to you guys. And the simple reason is, is that I'm actually about to go up into the highlands of New Zealand down here in the South Island to go chasing trout today. So I do not have any intention of placing any trades for the morning. For me, I'll be uh, enjoying the spoils of my trading and uh, taking some time out. But the markets, as I say, they've remained relatively flat overnight. Not a great deal has happened. We may see that pullback still come back, 8,400, uh, possibly a little bit deeper to 8,300 is sort of the area that I'm looking at there. But um, yeah, it's it's looking like we're just waiting to see what goes on. And often we do see periods where the market does consolidate. Now, don't see this as a bad thing. You know, Bitcoin and a lot of the other top 10 in the alts have already had some very large moves. Now, because of this, uh, they are due for a pullback. And I did say yesterday in one of my videos, I can't remember if it was actually on the podcast or not, but it's about making sure that when we pull back, we get our entries. Trading is about entering a trade. Once you're in the trade, you have got no control over the market. So don't worry about that. Our job is to make sure that when the market does pull back and fits our trading strategies, whether that be a Bitcoin breakout, a crypto cradle, or a Fibonacci booster, that we are ready and waiting. We take our opportunities when they come and we wait until they do. Now, I know a lot of you, especially those of you who have done the TraderCobb.com series of courses, you guys will have already been in a number of trades. Now, those of you who are in the trades, don't get antsy. Don't feel like, oh, it's about to pull back, so therefore I should move my stops. You should move your stops to places on the chart that makes sense. If there's a reason to move your stop loss, then you should move your stop loss. If, for example, you've taken the trade based on a daily chart, and now there is a daily higher low, because that's been represented by some new price, then you move your stop loss up to just underneath the low of that higher low because this is what we call working with the steps it's walking up the steps each time you put your foot to a new higher step you move up and it's not until you put your foot on the next step and push up that you move up again we're trying to slide our stop losses underneath those higher lows now this can take weeks in the case of eos btc which i took um Oh, when was it th- three or four weeks ago now? Uh, I put that out live onto the subscription service too, guys. So a number of you are in that trade or should still be in that trade unless you scaled out completely. Uh, there was a, a very big run. We got about a times eight uh, risk multiple. So that means if I was to sort of risk a thousand and the profit upside was, t- was eight thousand. So I'm not talking about the token multiplying by eight. I'm talking about the risk of the trade multiplying by eight. So then we saw it pull back. So I took 50. 50% profit at one-to-one as I normally always do. And then because it moves so heavily straight up into resistance, I close another 25%, leaving 25% to run. So I'd locked in a very, very good profit. Then I waited. It took about about a week to pull back properly and create that higher low. Then my stop loss was moved. Then EOS BTC moved once again, higher highs. Now I'm back in profit with a stop loss. It's also in profit. It's about being cool, calm and collected, knowing your craft, following your rules and doing what you're meant to do regarding your strategy. If you don't have a strategy, guys, it's so important that you get one. I, I say this so frequently, whether that be for investing, whether that be for trading, whether that be for life in general. It's so important to know where you're going to put your next footstep because if you don't, you can end up going around and around and around in circles. One other thing I want to mention before I jump back in the car and get going on this wonderful, beautiful, freezing, freaking New Zealand morning. (laughs) Take profits. Take profits. Make your work real. The reason I'm here in New Zealand is because I've done well, okay? I've, I've had some very good trades this year. It's not been the bullish year that we've, we anticipated to kick off with. It was very, very bearish. However, I can make money when the markets fall. And the markets fall hard in crypto. They also rise hard in crypto. So therefore, I've been able to capitalize on these moves. And because of that, and because I've been doing this for a while, 
I do take time out. I make sure that I get in and I get out and I take some time to enjoy my profits. Because if you don't, then all these amazing things in life are going past. As a trader, I've got the freedom to be able to trade and work anywhere that I like in the world. This week, I like to be in New Zealand. And that's why I'm going fishing today because I've done well and it's time to take some profits and have some fun with it. So I suggest you guys do the same. If you're doing well, and even if you're not, if you're not doing well, sometimes taking a break and walking away is really, really important. But for now, for now, if you're still learning, then keep on that path. Get yourself some trading strategy. Go to tradercob.com, register there for the bi-weekly video newsletter at a minimum. You need to go through that website. There is a huge amount under the, I think it's called Market Blog Tab. Under the Market Blog Tab, you'll find all the videos that I've been putting out for quite some time. On my social media, you'll find the rest of the videos that go out. I'm at Trader Cobb on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube. Get your hands dirty. Get stuck in. And don't let this amazing life that you can be leading get past. Because everybody with technology these days can trade, they can invest, they can have internet businesses. There's so many things that we can do with the freedom to move and operate anywhere in the world that we like, provided that there is an internet connection. Now, thankfully for me today, there won't be any internet connection when I get up into the mountains. But right now, we're good to go. So guys, have a fantastic day. You'll no doubt get a fishing report tomorrow as well. Uh, I'll probably put us, when I get back, if I catch any fish, I'm not really that confident, to be honest with you. I'm, uh, I, I couldn't get a guide for the day. None of the bloody buggers got back to me. So I'm going up the river with a mate of mine, and we're going to have a crack. But I'm going to be walking the wilderness, some of the most beautiful, picturesque rivers in the entire world today, and I am pretty bloody excited. You'll get a fishing report, and if you're on my socials, you'll probably get a couple little photo updates when I get back as well. Have a great day, guys. Take my word for it. Go to TraderCobbCobb.com and uh, go and get stuck in. Guys, speak to you soon. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Check out TraderCobb.com because experience matters.